Hey friends, welcome to another episode of the Arrow Crow Show. Here I am uh, digging into a game that I've been playing on the Vita, um, but I it's crossed by with the PS4. Wanted to take a few minutes to take you uh, through a little tour of it. It's a Saturday morning RPG, so let's dig into it. It's uh, oh, let's go. Well, what is this? Uh, it's a very interesting role-playing game. Um, it is highly, highly influenced by 1980s pop culture, um, which is good for me because I am an old bastard, and that's the era I grew up in. Um, so we're going to start off here. It's kind of this uh, G.I. Joe-themed episode, um, but instead of the Cobra, it is the Hood. Here we are. We're playing Marty. And we need to save the love of our life, Samantha. So, bad guys never Lynn. Never, never, never Lynn. Bad guys never Lynn. Ha ha ha. Clearly, I can speak. So the combat system is a very kind of traditional RPG with these little kind of quick time event things in here. So let's see if I can't. Oh, maybe I'll get a perfect at some point. It is the best I've got, Commander Hood. You son of a bitch. Um, I have a winning plan, <laughs> Dickhead. So I kind of like this uh, art style of the very um, sprite-based uh, characters with these... 3D backgrounds. It's not like the prettiest game ever, but the writing is pretty fun. Here we have The Wizard. Um, no doubt a reference to the film of the same name. Uh, and they did school me. He's the baddest guy around. But I power glove. Not bad. Blah, blah, blah. <coughs> Blah, blah. So the wizard is going to give us what makes this game kind of interesting, and it is the artifact, which is a uh, trapper keeper. Um, what's cool about this game, you use uh, stickers on the cover of your trapper keeper, and before battle you can scratch them, and they give you bonuses or give um, you know buffs or debuffs to you or your enemies. Um, it's a pretty interesting mechanic, and you can swap out the stickers. Um, you can swap out all your movesets too by equipping different items. So there's a lot of uh, a lot of interesting mechanics at play. <laughs> yeah. So the yeah, it's just a cutely, it's a cute game. Use your left stick here to scratch. Let's. Let's use the CD player here. rank uh, after each battle. Um, if you're looking for a game of Platinum, this is actually probably one of the easier ones out there. Um, none of the trophies are uh, difficult. Um, more grindy than anything. Um, I played on Vita for like an hour and got like over 10% or even, like a 15% or something like that. So, um, But there's so much humor, there's uh, some great Tron references, just great references to 80s pop culture. If you didn't live in the 80s, this might be uh, not the game for you. Uh, you'd be lacking a lot of humor would be um, lost on you, but yeah, give it a whirl. It was like a couple of dollars. But yeah, so let's just go through this battle here. Get this. Let's try one more freaking time. 
Eh. It's actually easier on Vita for some reason. Punch wasn't fast enough. Easy to defend against. Uh, comment below if you know what that is a quote from. And we will be friends, because... I love this power. It's so bad. I should cut in that scene. I'm a wizard. Um, I'm not going to because that's a whole rights issue. But, so here we go. So we're in the game, running around. Let's go talk to this guy. There's a side quest. Up. Some items here. I'll go talk to Gurgle Tail. Reference to the Smurfs. All right, blah blah blah. I'll bring you back your jerks. Make me some jambalaya. Uh, you can see here's our trapper keeper. Just up here. And let's swap out some of our side. Alright. We should be better equipped now. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, so I've not beaten this game uh, just a few chapters in, but I am hoping, I am hoping, hoping, hoping that there's an 80s uh, training montage somewhere in it. Let's use the Care Bear. This is riveting internet video. Well, I'm engaged. Do, 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 do. Marty has no ass. Yeah, blah blah blah. Oh, there it is. All right. Let's go collect these jerks. I spend my life trying to avoid jerks, but. As Marty, I'm gonna run head first into all the jerks I see. No, come with me, jerk. Ha! So, one of the trophies is to max out your combo meter. And that's pretty easy to do, so I can show you how to do that. So we're gonna have these batteries here, and... Say hi to the people. 
Yeah. Oh, right, I'm supposed to be fighting. Not making out with a dog. And let's just punch this dude. Haha, <laughs> you're paralyzed. Boom, boom. You know, I think of it, I think this shares a trophy list with the Vita version. Which is why that didn't ding. But I got the challenge for it, so that's cool. Let's go back here. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, throw up root beer and Stickers up here. Ooh. Mad line. Dun dun dun. It's a He-Man villain makes a G.I. Joe. You see that. Where this is going. Gonna wipe the floor with you, Commander Hood. Alright. Super Saiyan. I feel big and powerful. Let's paralyze her again. Pop, pop. I don't know what that was, but it's recorded forever for all of history. I want to believe that aliens are gonna like come to Earth in like 10,000 years. We're all gonna be dead. We're just gonna be this lifeless rock and they're gonna find like some computer that somehow managed to survive and they're just gonna like see like nothing but cat videos, uh, racist vitriol, and just stupid let's play videos on the internet. And they're gonna find me and realize that Earth is better off without, you know, humanity. Uh, uh, battle lines, a big pain in my uh, derriere. I know. Come on, put my multiplier up. multiplier. Let's see what Care Bear does with that. That was exceedingly violent. Kirk. 
Everything resets in between battles. Having the dog cameo. You don't have a YouTube famous? Hmm? You're Instagram famous. You could be YouTube famous too. One thing I don't like um, is a lack of like, a run option uh, in the combat. And you're just kind of left with uh, fighting everything. And there are not too many enemies um, in the world, to my uh, knowledge, to my discovery, to my education. Um, but I've been playing like Trails of the Sky, uh, Legend of Heroes Trails of the Sky on Vita as well, and uh, when I'm like going to a quest, I'm just trying to just get through because there's a lot of random. Oh, there's a lot of battles in that game, and the comic seems great. But the battles gonna take forever. I just wanna get to where I'm going. You know, I want an RPG battle system that lets me get from point A to point B. And maybe on weekends, point C. And if you know what that's referenced to, comment below as well. Oh. Yeah! I like using the power. Careberry goodness to explode. Tiger lizard men. There's a trick about me liking exploding men that we're just not gonna touch. I've been poisoned. Do 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 do. Nice. Come on. Moon walk and critical. So I'm pretty sure this is made by a... We'll get Sword of Unknowns. I equip that. Yeah. Wait. Oh, pork chops, pork chop sandwiches. Yes, for this mini game. Radical defense. Miss. Ha. It's a very uh, sort of omen-looking sword. Oh, he got burned. Radical. Radical. Boom. Ha. It's oddly satisfying when they explode. Son, ha. All right, there. 
There we go. That is a little better. Righteous. Right. No. Cave on my pink hoverboard. Oh yeah. This is your father, I need your help, Dad, that was you. Blah blah computer for years. Ah, you son of a Put my uh Mario Party skills to use. Righteous. That last one was righteous. That was just embarrassing. Righteous. Righteous. Whoop. Yeah. Boom. This is me, I need your help. Technical difficulties sometimes happens, blah blah blah, I can't escape without you, your help. Uh, rogue programmers taking over cyberspace. No, let's shut down some computers here. Sneak time! See ya! And... I'll throw this symbol at him. Boom. game looks like um, just more and more of this um, it's smartly written uh, it's pretty much it I mean it's a good game I'm sure I'm selling you on it right now by being like it's a good it's a smartly written game <laughs> but uh, no I really enjoy it um, it's uh, it's silly fun and it looks to be a about 10 hours. Um, so, not a huge time commitment. And the dog says goodbye. No, she doesn't. She's looking at me. Uh, what the dog actually says is she wants you to like, subscribe, and share to this video. And uh, comment below and let me know what movies I was quoting earlier. 